Thank you very much for joining us here at PAX Prime. We're back after two years. We're back here with you guys in Seattle. Thank you so much for coming. We're very excited to be here. Uh, we are very excited to present, you know, Koji and Sokin's Wild Ride. Now, what does that mean exactly? Don't worry. You will be finding out before the end of the panel. So before we begin, let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Matt Hilton. Uh, you may know me on the forums as Bayonne. Yeah! <laughs> My biggest fan is here, so that's good. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh, so, so you may know me from previous like fan festival I hosted, also previous PAX East and PAX Prime in general and things like that. So I'll be the MC today. I'll try not to take up too much of your time and uh, I'll try to keep the jokes to a minimum and uh, my writer's on vacation, so I don't really have anything to go on today. Um, but yeah, I don't want to take up uh, too much of your time. I know you guys are here to see uh, Koji and Soken, so... <laughs> exactly. So, uh, before we begin, let's please uh, welcome up to the stage. We have with us the English localization lead of Final Fantasy XIV. Please help me welcome up to the stage Michael Christopher Koji Fox. <laughs> Hey guys! Don't don't worry, it's okay. It's all our closest friends. No one on the stream is watching, so it's okay. No, no one. No one. We turned it. We turned it off, so okay, you don't have to good, worry okay. about it. So you, it's very intimate. You know, 600 something people in this room only. So don't worry. Okay. So we're really glad you're here. Thank um, you. Could you. Isn't something strange though? I mean, you know, you just came in from Japan. No, no, I'm, dude, I'm on vacation. Yeah, you're actually, he, Koji is actually here on his vacation time. Because, you know, I made the mistake of, I, I'm originally from Portland, Oregon, and so I'm, I'm on my, my summer break. Yes, summer, summer, summer break, break. My yeah. summer break, sure. I finally August, got it, yeah. and I said, oh yeah, I'm going to be in Portland, and I might go up to Seattle to visit my, uh, visit my brother oh, and his nice. sons. That's very nice. And uh, someone at work probably heard me say that, and like a couple days later, it's like, Hey, you're going to be in Seattle on the 29th? Ah. See, that's, that's why you should never tell anybody at work what your plans are outside of work, or else yeah. you get roped into these... Uh... And they tried to get me to work for free, but I'm like, no, I want the nicest room at the Sheraton. <laughs> first, first class. class. Actually, you Sweet. broke the budget, so everything <laughs> after 3.0, now we have to really do our best because... <laughs> Koji has this suite and it's super nice. For like, I'll be working for free for the next yeah, two months. Exactly. <laughs> all right. But no, we're very glad you're here. I know these guys are all super excited to see you, right? Yeah! I mean, even though it's your vacation, I'm sure this is you know just another memory for you for the yeah. future. So don't worry. I mean, and I get my sixty dollars for food, right? Uh, we'll talk later. Don't worry. <laughs> sixty. That's a little high. I mean, it's not that expensive. <laughs> Seattle's pretty cheap. Um, <laughs> but no, but no, four dollars for it. Yep. Water just magically appears for us. Uh, but no, we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. So yep. I know you're here, you know, localization lead. But today we're going to be talking about a little bit more uh, focus on like the music, yep, yep, the songs. As you guys know from fan festival, all three fan festivals, Koji is a huge uh, part of the music of Final Fantasy XIV as yeah. well. Yeah, Soken San, he gets me. Up, uh, I don't think I have it up there, but the first project I worked on with Sokan san was uh, uh, Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three oh, three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he called me into the studio. Uh, he was like, yeah, I need you to, I need you to help with uh, the pronunciation on this one word. I think it's Mario. I'm like, it's the same in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, but it has to sound American. So it's like, Mario. And then he's like, Mario. oh, yeah, Mario. Yeah. Mario, Mario. And uh, then he was like, oh, yeah, I need you to rap, too. And I'm like, what? He's <laughs> like, ah, I just want to put some rap in. So you can think of something like, you got about a minute? And it's like, oh, okay. And yeah, and then I went to the studio. Right. And it's, it's, ever since then, that's pretty much what it's been like. That's, your, that's, will come that's to how me Soken like, works with you now. Yeah, I need lyrics by 3 o'clock. Can you do it? Like, okay. Sure. And we'll be recording at 4. And yeah, you're going to be on stage tomorrow at 5. <laughs> it's pretty much what Perfect. it is. Perfect. Well, let's, so let's go ahead, let's talk a little bit yep. about, you know, your previous work on Final Fantasy XIV. I know, I mean, even previous Final Fantasy, a.k.a. FF11. Yeah. Uh, so let's yeah. talk a little bit about, I know you worked in the past with uh, the famous Nobuo Uematsu. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about so, yeah. your work with uh, Uematsu. Um, 
I've worked with him in the past on uh, not only uh, 14, but also back to 11. Uh, yep. Distant Worlds was the first project I worked with him on. And uh, then we did Answers as well. Um, and yeah, I've seen, you know, another side of Uwe Matsan. There was this time where he had this magic marker and there was this, there's beer and he had this guy and he had to pull down his... Oh, okay, let's maybe not tell all the stories <laughs> about Uwe Matsan. It's, it's a different, you know, he's not in okay, Sporenix right, company. But, so. you know, you'd think that after working with him, you know, a couple times before and, you know, seeing that other side of him, that I would be, you know, okay, yeah, it's just another Uwe Matsan. No, easy, easy. it's not. I mean, you know, he's the reason why, one of the reasons why I got into the gaming industry, you know, you, Back when I was uh, 11, 12, and I flip on, you know, the NES, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy One, you hear the music, it hits you. And yep. to know that, you know, I get to work with that guy that inspired me, um, I was just really, really nervous. And uh, when they decided, okay, yeah, the Heaven's Word is going to be using uh, Uwe Matsan for that, and they're like, okay, here, we want you to write the lyrics for this. I'm like, <gasps> <sighs> and then they give me the melody. And it's like, okay, we need you to take this melody and make the lyrics off of this. And I just, like, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, living in the land of the lost, lost, lost. lost. <laughs> and literally, two days, all that's in my head is living in the land of the lost. And all of my file names are land of the lost. I had like written out like the chorus, <laughs> land of the lost. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, if Uematsu-san finds out about this and Yoshibi finds out about this, they're going to like fire me. I'm going to be delegated to or relegated to, you know, translating functionality bugs on, on like browser games for the rest of my career. And, <laughs> but, you know, calm down. Okay, I got to get a game plan with this. Um, I had answers from 2.0. Go from answers into Dragon Song. And so um, when we found out, you know, that the theme song uh, for 3.0 was going to be based on uh, I found out that it was going to be based on um, a certain dragon and a certain female. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it, but I, you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. And the, the love story between these, uh, these two mm -hmm. uh, star-crossed lovers, um, just thinking, okay, um, this would be a good chance to uh, you know, write a song that will connect with answers. And when we found out that it was going to be uh, Susan Calloway, oh, okay. um, who was going to be singing, uh, the song for 3.0 as well, and I think, okay, well, in Answers, it was all about, Susan was uh, yeah, Highland. So, yeah, she was Highland, Highland exactly. and so she's singing as the planet, mm -hmm. and so I think, okay, we can have, Dragon Song also can be about, you know, she's going to sing, it's going to be Highland singing uh, to the people of Eorzea. But yeah, um, Susan is, is a great singer, and I was really excited to hear that uh, she was chosen for, and I hope that everybody else Thanks, she was a good choice, yes. too, right? Yeah. So, so answers, you know, it's like the planet talking to, you know, it's not only just the planet singing, but there's also parts of, you know, different people that are also Yeah, it's, it's basically, um, answers is about Heidelin, or it's the, the people of Eorzea, yeah. the, the five races are pretty much lamenting their, you know, their pitiful existence. Oh, why is it so hard? Why must we fight? Why must we do this? It's, oh my God, oh, <laughs> planet. And then Heidelin comes in and is like, no, you guys, you know, it's all about, you have to suffer to be able to experience. You have to um, see all of these terrible things to learn about who you are. It's about, you know, searching for oneself. It's about adventure. Um, you know, we have the, She's telling you to witness and feel and suffer and borrow and reason, all these things. Basically, she's like a naggy mother. Um, <laughs> that's right. But, like the Fresh Prince said, parents just don't understand. <laughs> and so, Dragon Song, um, I wanted to have it be about where, you know, in answers, you have the nagging mother. Mm -hmm. um, and she's saying, you must know this, the ending, lyrics, you must live, die, and know. Um, but then if you look at Dragon Song, the final lyrics there is, this I fear, I'll never know. So basically, the mother here doesn't understand what's going on. Um, and that little bit of, I don't know, that dichotomy there, yeah. that's, that's showing that even though she's the omnipotent, she's the planet, that she doesn't understand these people um, that she even created. Yeah. And so something like that is, is, is what I wanted to do. And it's one of the cool things, I mean, even with with answers, you know, it's been around for so long, and people or you know, all our players were kind of dissecting the lyrics and really mm -hmm. trying to understand every facet of it. And same thing with Dragon Song, you know, I think that even for years to come, you know, even knowing the lyrics that we have now, you know, hopefully. Exactly. You'll I mean, find when, some ways. when writing this, I, I got the plot um, from the main scenario writer, yeah. 
And uh, so I got to check out what's going to happen in 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.3. He, he won't tell you later, so don't, and, don't uh, ask. I've asked. And figuring out, you know, what's going to happen. And then being able to put that into Dragon Song. So at first glance, it's like, oh, yeah, a throne lying empty, a reign incomplete, or um, swelling over long seas of blood or a song. Okay, it's talking about this. And you can kind of imagine in the current perspective of what the story is now. Okay, they're talking about this. But hopefully in 3.2. For X or however far it goes, they'll be able to look at that and say, ah, it meant that as well. And you know, that's speculation that can continue on for the span of, uh, of the 3.x series. Um, I think it, that's the coolest thing about answers, is yeah. that right up until Heaven's Word, people were speculating, you know, the things that happened in 2.5, they're saying, ah, see, this is alluding this to it here. Totally and, makes sense now. Yeah. And you know, there's people. Um, and people will put that up on the forums. People, oh, no, you can't use songs. Those aren't canon. Those aren't canon. That has nothing to do with it. They're absolutely canon. Everything I write in the songs, <laughs> it's canon. Even, even under the weight. You know, bow down over dweller. That's got so much lore packed right in there. The, the meaning is so deep. Like, bow Just be careful down. saying everything you write is canon. because okay. well, <laughs> Almost everything. Okay, most of the things you write is canon. So, uh, you know, before we continue, you know, it's kind of, you know, the name of the panel is Koji and Soken's Wild Ride. Yeah, I could just, I, I could do this seen, all by myself. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, honestly, I haven't seen Soken in a while, so I think he went out to uh, smoke. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Hey. 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 Soken. Seattle! Hello, Seattle! Wait, wait. Uh, my name is <laughs> Masayoshi Soken. <laughs> Masayoshi Soken. Masayoshi Soken. Masa Yoshida Soken. <laughs> no, no, no. Masa Yoshi Soken. I think, yeah. I think everybody I knows think who you are. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. We, we brief them ahead of time so they know. <laughs> but no, everybody, welcome to the stage the sound director of Final Fantasy XIV, Masa Yoshi Soken. And once more, helping translate for us is our lovely and talented Aimi Tokutake. I know, eh, to Nihon de Mo, Nama Hoso, Mitter Stoga, and then Kyokuri Nihongo de Boku Ashabere. There are people who are listening in on this stream, uh, watching the stream in Japan also, so uh, Soken will speak primarily in Japanese for this panel. なんだよ、夏休みで、シアトルに来てさ。え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
Well, now that our whole panel is here, we can really dive into the meat of, our, of what we're going to be talking about today, which is we're going to talk about the making of Heaven's Word music, focusing on huh. primals. So what, what better primal to get started with? Oh, before we begin, <laughs> I believe yes. Sokin wants to say a little something about uh, how the music <laughs> creation has been going. <laughs> あれだね。ファイナルファンタジー14は <laughs> 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 But yeah, so that's the main theme, Hell's Ward. So let's let's dive into and find out what makes Final Fantasy XIV Hell's Ward. We're gonna talk about first Ravana. For those of you who have been to our our booth over on the show floor, hopefully you've challenged Ravana. Anybody? Yeah. Nice. You have your shirts. Did you guys win? Or nice. Yeah. So, we know. We know. We know. We know. Soaking oh, yes. so wants your shirt, so if you could... Ju- no, we'll talk later, we'll talk later. It's, it's fine. mine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We'll meet after in the back alley. Um, so, let's, let's talk... A- no, it's not my shirt, no, you can't have it. So let's talk, let's kick off with uh, Ravana. So, you know, one of the, the first primals that you battle in Heaven's Word. So let's talk a little bit about the creation of the, you know, theme for Ravana. Uh, uh, do you like Ravana song? It seems it's very popular. Uh, the Ravana song is very popular here in the States. Um, so even before we got to creating the song for Ravana, I just want to reiterate the development for Heaven's Word was Virtually he- hell's word for us. <laughs> Re- real he- hell's word. <laughs> really, real hell's word. Yeah, I mean, I talked a little bit before about um, you know working with Uematsu-san, and I had they gave me the melody. I had about two weeks to write the lyrics, and then I had another two weeks to you know get the. We did the recording, and yeah, with two weeks, how many how many songs could we make in two weeks? Four primal songs. Yeah. And <laughs> Uh, 100 sound effect <laughs> and uh, 500 voices and sound engineering and uh, and so on. And hell's word. <laughs> 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 but I mean, yeah, we're that's typically our typical pace, so we 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 trudge through it. I know Hell's World, no, ne, I know big boss, ni ne, Naoki Yoshida, ってのがいるのよ。Um, in Hell's Word, we have this big boss, and it's Naoki Yoshida. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not, he's not asleep, he's don't worry. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's not here, yeah. No. He's watching the stream? No, 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 no. He's we, not watching we, we blocked it for okay. him, so he can't. You can, you can say anything. Well, that's a good mindset. But the Ravana song is... When was it? When まあ、あの、作ったんだけど、あの、ラーバナの曲を作るにあたってのコンセプトをちょっと話したいかなと。So, in terms of this Ravana song, um, I'm trying to think back as to when it was, but uh, let me first of all uh, talk to you about the concept behind the song. あの、まずね、そもそもラーバナがその、え、誇り高き虫。Um, so Ravana, of course, um, as you can see, is very like insect-like and very regal and very prominent sort of character. で、あの、えっと、まるでね、技がダンスをしてるような感じなんね。so that's when I thought um, it's very dance-like, so I thought waltz, uh, three-beat measures. And 
And so,、uh, because he's the god of、uh, battle and fighting. In Japan, there are many people who are in the world of 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 the world ね、and the background music that usually plays in those intense battle scenes is very、um, memorable and、uh, very. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> でこのラーバナもまあそういう感じのテイストをちょっと入れました。So that's the kind of flavor I wanted to bring into the Ravana theme. But The problem was, it wasn't always this song.、Um, when, we, when you first came to me and said, okay, we got the Ravana song, and you let me listen to it, it wasn't this song. It was the Alexander Goblin song. <laughs> But at that time, it was like, oh yeah, we're going to use this for Ravana, so we need some lyrics.、Uh, and I was thinking, okay, well, this is.、Um, okay, it's Ravana and it's the Nath, so I want to make something, maybe let's use Nathic. Um, the Nath language. So I had about a day to create the Nath language. <laughs>、um, and I created these lyrics and I took them to、uh, Sokan san. He's like, oh yeah, remember that when I said that this was for Ravana? Yeah, the big boss, Yoshi P, was like, that would be better on Alexander. So here's a new song that I want you to write lyrics. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he says, okay, but I have this guy that we want to sing it.、Um, it's this great tenor,、uh, but he only speaks Japanese. He doesn't speak English. So you can't do it in Nathic because、um, it's. Well, okay, we could do it in Nathic, but how about doing it in like the dragon language instead? So I wrote another set of lyrics for the, in the dragon language. Because again, it's supposed to be this Japanese guy that's going to be singing. And he's a great singer. He's worked with us on some other,、uh, I think, the, the Heavens Word opening、um, in the chorus he was in that.、Um, but then he was like, oh, yeah, these are great.、Um, but yeah, that tenor that we got, yeah, his schedule, he's like all filled up for that day. So we're going to use somebody from the Loke department who speaks English. So can we do it in English? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And so, but luckily, because I had, I'd had an English. You know, the lyrics, and I translated those into dragon speak. I could just translate them back into English and then make sure that they rhymed. And so finally, that's the path that it took.、Um, and then we got uh, the guy, uh, yeah, he's actually、you. the lead, he's actually the lead, the localization lead on, on 15. And he's got this great voice.、Um, great voice! Oh, he sounds, <laughs> he sounds like Lieutenant Worf. <laughs> and like, when, he, when you get him drunk enough, he'll do his Worf voice. There is the theory of the Mobius. <laughs> It's funny every time you're drunk. As are most things. But... <laughs> yeah, great voice. Yes, Dan. I, my name is Dan. <laughs> yeah. My name is Dan s p e d o So his voice is really deep and it worked really well for Ivana? Yeah, because I think it's so. So, あのダウンの声がね、その良かったきっかけがあって。Um, there is, um, when I first noticed,、um, there was this incident that made me realize Dan has such a great voice. あのよくあの海外のポストプロダクションと会議をするんですね、うちのサウンドスタ,スタジオが。So, our sound team would have、uh, frequent calls with our overseas post production company、um, to make sure、uh, we are discussing、um, and meetings and things like that. And sometimes Dan would step in as our translator、uh, between the Japan team and then the overseas、uh, post production team. ほんならね、その時にダンがね、おいえす、おおいえす、ああ、の、の、おいえす、えす、と。ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダンは、ダン
しちゃった。<笑>まあ、それでその時にあいい声だなっていうふうにずっと思ってたんですね。で、まあ、そのまま月日が過ぎて。ほいで、ラーバの曲ができた時に、ダンのことを思い出したんですね。で、ラーバの曲ができた時に、ダンのことを思い出したんですね。あ、ダンに頼もうと思って、ダンに頼んでみたんですね。あのプライムのソング歌ってくれっつって。であいつはそのねあのアメリカ人だっけ彼、ね、アメリカ人だからあのもちろんねアメリカのノリで「おマジかやっておマジかやるわ」って言うと思ったらさ。But, やだって言われたんです。No way! <笑>なんかどうも彼は自分の声があんまり好きじゃないらしいんですね。It seems Dan is not very fond of listening to his own voice. <笑>でね、どれぐらい好きじゃないかっていうと、自分の留守番電話の,その自分の入れたメッセージを聞くのも嫌なんですって。So let me tell you how much he hates listening to his own voice. Like, you know how you have voicemail greetings, you record your own voice, leave a message. ほいでなんかそんなのが歌う歌うなんて冗談じゃないっつってねもうすごい断られたんですよね。So, like、voice, like, I, I this, そしたら、まあ、説得する材料としてねあの実は秘策を持ってまして僕ね。実はあの昨今のですね、えー、科学力は素晴らしいものがありまして、それは音楽の世界にも実は、えー、広がっております。彼はどんだけ下手くそに歌っても、僕がバッチリこうバシッと決めるわけですね。So I told him, no matter how badly you sing, leave it to me, I will fix it. Are you saying he is a bad singer? Yeah. <笑><笑> I hope he's not watching the stream. <笑>まあ,あのそれであの実際問題はあの彼の,そのドライのボイスは、えっと、エフェクトがかかってないボイスを、まあ、取ってでエフェクトをかけるわけなんですけど。そこで今日はピッチ要は音程もちゃんとピシッと直して。で、曲を作って、彼に聴かせてあげたんですね、歌った歌をね。まあ、ちょっとあいつ、大きい声、超いいじゃんって言って。そしたら、彼は、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごい、すごまあそんな感じであの歌ってもらって、えー、今に、えー、皆さんゲームの中で聴けるということになってますね。そうですね。で、まあ、今日はそれで、まあ、ラバーの曲を聴いて。あ,あビスマルクねこれ作るの大変でした。そんなことないよ割とフィールドの曲とかは。でもねビスマルクは大変でえっとね何曲だったっけなえっと。12曲ぐらいボツになったのかな確か。そう、ビスマークは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あな
全然分かんなかっただから。So it was so hard to take to get a grasp as to how to depict this. ただその代わり、えっ、ー、と気持ちいい感じで巨大な敵にぶつかっていけばいいのかなっていう想像をしました。Um, so I was thinking to myself, okay, well, let me think about it.、Um, I think I want it to be very exhilarating, and you were facing this giant enemy. で、まあ、悩んだ結果、いろいろね、ちょっとこれもね、工事に迷惑をかけてしまって。Yeah, so again, the song you know and love as the Bismarck theme, that wasn't what I first received.、Um, you know the other song in Alexander? Yeah, that's the one I got. It's like, oh, we have this song for Bismarck. Here's the melody. We want you to make a song for this. And he told me, oh, and I put an organ part in there. The organ part is the melody. So just listen to the organ part and then write your lyrics for that. So I get the song and I'm listening. There's no organ part. But I was thinking,、oh, maybe it's my fault. Maybe he meant. Organ keyboard part, and so there's a piano part in it. And so I was thinking, ah, this must be the melody. So I spent the next couple days writing lyrics、uh, on the piano part. Yeah, and so I got that. I sent it to him. Here's the lyrics. Here's the lyrics for Bismarck. You know, it's this, it's this aerial battle, so I made it about flying and falling. And, and it's like, oh yeah, that song.、Uh, first off, we're not going to be using it for Bismarck anymore. We're going to use it for Alexander now. The second thing was, like,、um, <laughs> these lyrics don't match the melody. I was like, but you gave me the melody and they match the melody. He's like, no, that's not the melody. The melody, the melody was on there. I was like, no, there was no organ part. It was the piano part. I was like, no, 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 there was. No, 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 there wasn't. No, 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 there was. No, 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 there wasn't. I let him listen to the file he gave me. Oh. oh. <laughs> And I just let whatever words come to me. And so I get, the, you know, that's seeking the peace of reason, sleep in a peaceless season, reason to keep believing, waken the peace to sleep in. And it's like some coffee house with guys with berets and they're all, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden it just it gets even worse. And then towards the end, I'm like, seven, two, three, two, three, send. And I'm like, what is that? And you know, there's people out there that I've checked the forums, they're like, okay, on the seventh day of the second month, <laughs> if you face the third cardinal direction, so that would mean east, you will always get your synthesis. If you're doing c o t h p r a v it will. Be... Now, now, this is, this is nothing. This is just this is what came to me in you know, the, the drunken stupor. Um, I'm sure it has some meaning,、um, but it'll be one of those things that'll be like, please look forward to it, because even I don't know. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's Ravana, that's Bismarck. So two times you've written lyrics or something that moved over to over Alexander. Alexander、yeah. So let's, I guess that's the most、uh, logical next step,、oh. which is. So this is the easy part. I mean, this is already done. Yeah, we already talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk Alexander about this. Alexander is not this. No, I don't know. あのボツになったものをそのまま持ってきたわけじゃなくてですね。Of course, there were there were a few songs that were scrapped for other primals that we brought on to Alexander, but it was never that we used it literally as is. あのちゃんとあのアレキサンダーの、えー、雰囲気に合うように、えー、とかなりアレンジをしたんで元のイメージはほとんど残ってないぐらいアレンジしてます。Um, so, of course, we would take what we had and then modify it to make it more appropriate for the context of Alexander. So, you may see, re- see remnants, but it's for the most part、um, changed and modified to fit the Alexander theme. The image of the cock to not the color of the steam punk. And then the sort of core of the concept behind all of the songs within Alexander has that taste of steampunk. だからね、あのだからヘルズワードって言ったけど、結局ね、あのスチームパンクやりながら
時代劇やってほいであのなんだいドラムベースやってだ、うん、だそういうことをするから。The field, yeah, the field songs are like you had the classic. And... So there's so many different layers that we're working with here in, in this Hell's Word as we speak. We're doing steampunk, we're doing Jidai Geki Spaghetti Western with katana swords, we got drum and bass, and just so many different layers. So that's why we yeah, I understand. sometimes forget. Yeah. <laughs> He can give me the wrong stuff. It's all the same. Everything is going in parallel, all simultaneously. So. Panic, panic. <laughs> so much stuff. Alexander was a very good one. He was a very good one. He was a very good one. He was a very good one. So, thanks to all of the hard work that has been put in and that we had to. Scrub, <laughs> so to speak.、Um, what started out with just one song for the Alexander turned into a total of three songs. <laughs> just a minute. Oh, hold on, just <laughs> one moment. What did you、oh. do? You are hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Wow, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. What, what, were yeah, we what were we talking about? about? We're talking about <laughs> one song became three songs. Ah, so Alexander. Ah, so then it's not that. Hey, that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But again, okay. So we'll get into the lyrics. So、um, because it's Alexander now, it's no longer about you know hive mind bugs,、right. and it's no longer about this flying <laughs> god of the expanse.、Yep. Um, <laughs> it's about these goblins. Um, and it's about, again, the steampunk. And so, you know, steampunk themes and the goblin themes. And the goblins, as you know,、um, in 14, they're, they're kind of crazy.、Um, unlike, yeah, unlike the,、uh, the other、um, beast tribes in, in Eorzea, the other beast tribes in Eorzea speak in their own language, and you understand them through the echo. Whereas、um, the goblins, they are traitors. Um, and they want to communicate with everyone, not just people who have the echo. So they try their hardest <laughs> to speak in Eorzean、uh, English. And、uh, they don't do a very good job. And,、uh, they try. I, I envisioned they try.、Um, when creating the language, I envisioned it to be kind of like、um, German, where you have these complex、um, concepts that are a bunch of words all stuck together.、Um, and so you get, for example, for like speaking, it's lip flaps, or it's for pages, you have word leaves. And again, in their language, yeah, like that. And、uh, so creating something that's like this. When you hear it, you kind of know what they're saying, but you don't know what they're saying, but it's close enough that you can get the picture.、Um, but yeah, this was,、uh, did this back in, in 1.0, the original FF, back when there was only like two gobs in the whole world, and so it's really easy because we didn't have to spend our time. And then they're like, 3.0, hey, Idleshire, we're going to have a whole town filled with them. They're like, holy crap, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> and so we changed、um, the lore so that it would be, oh, because they were in Charlian, they read all of those books and got smarter. So, they didn't have to speak in this kind of language as much. And that was kind of like, so we didn't have to write as much of this difficult stuff. But again, the Illuminati are kind of crazy. And so, we wanted it to have, that song to have this feeling that it was sung by the gobs in it. So, that's why we did this. I mean, I think a lot of people here are used to、uh, gobby speak now that they've gone through Alexander. Hopefully, you guys all gone through Alexander. Yeah? Yeah? Have you guys gone through Savage Alexander? Nice. Well, you know, the goblins, you know, for those of you who don't know, the goblins summoned the, the primal Alexander into this giant fortress and、uh, are inside, kind of running amok and causing problems from within the beast.、Uh, but since we're all here, you know, we decided we thought we should do something kind of fun and、uh, kind of involve everybody here. So I'm sure you guys all received your, your goblin masks on your seats. Well, we'll get you one, don't worry. Don't, I'll, I'll get you. So, where's mine?、Um, be careful not to be walking around with us, <laughs> trying to sneak into places.、Um, try not to get caught by the police. Yeah, please don't, <laughs> please don't rob any banks <laughs> using the g o b l i n masks.、Um, so, you, know, you may be wondering also why there are lyrics on the back of the goblin masks as well. Well, as I mentioned, this is going to be a wild ride. So,、uh, one of the things you want to do now. Is we want to get everyone together. Wait, to... wait, 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 wait. Are we going to sing this? We sure are. <laughs> hey, dude, what about the power of science helping me out? Because I'm not going to, I can't sing. We, he... I have science power. <laughs> Now! 
But what about you can't get that to make my voice change, can you? No, no, no. ここに今あるから大丈夫これ。Nope, we have it right here. It's all set up. <laughs> But I mean, I'm not really feeling it today. ちょっと声出してみるじゃん。そういう気分じゃないんですけど。ちょっとなんか喋ってみよう。Say something with this mic. Should I, should I talk in this mic? Wait a minute. ちょっと出だし歌ってみて。お前、ジュシングのファーストパートのソング。Let me get the Super great singers and totally ready for this. But just in case, we should probably do、uh, one practice run. So we're going to have you guys sing the chorus, the part where the goblins kind of shout back. So we're going to put the lyrics, we'll put the lyrics on the screen. We have a guitar. Oh, what? Here,、so、you have a guitar? We have a guitar? Where did that come from? All right, let's do it. All right, so first we're going to do our, our rehearsal to make sure you guys are all versed in Gabi speak.、Uh, I'll sing off to the side. Now with the, now with the microphone.、Uh, It's not in here. <laughs> so we'll show you the lyrics up on screen like this Koji with his beautiful Gabi voice. Wait a m i d d l e We'll、oh, yeah. sing the song. And the parts in parentheses will have you guys sing along. Make sure you guys have your goblin masks up to for the,、uh, the full effect. So you have very, very difficult lyrics, Dude, that, which is. You, this know, is awesome. Boom, gobby, doom. <laughs> and doom, gobby, boom. Don't get it mixed up. It's really bad if you get it mixed up. Trust me. We had rehearsals and blood everywhere. So that's the first chorus. And now the, the last chorus we'll have you guys do at the end when you see repeat. We have a little bit different here. We have you guys just sing metal for, the, for your singing part, okay? So it's a little bit different from the first part. I know it's tough. Metal! Well, how do you guys do that? Some people on the forums said metal sounded like get out. Get out! Would that change it? The, the, the name of the song is metal. Get out! The name of the song is metal. But from a lore perspective, technically. Not. Technically. Okay, so I guess let's do a quick、uh, do a rehearsal with So Ken. I'm going to move over to his. He'll、oh, do it here first. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the chorus.、Yeah. And、uh, I'll say, Wake the metal. And you guys, Boom, Gabby, Doom. Wake the metal, Boom, Gabby, Doom. Okay, so you guys ready? And then the second chorus will be, Metal. All right. All right. All right. You guys do. Wake the metal. Rejake the metal. And fall the metal. And fall the metal. I think I, I heard hear, some, people, some people, but I think we can be we a little bit louder. We need to be a lot louder. We can't beat Alexander. We can't beat Alexander if you don't give him more attack. One more. One more time. Wake the metal. Bring it to the metal. And fold the metal. And fold the metal. Nice. Let's practice, let's practice the second one too. Let's do the, this is the really difficult part, guys. <laughs> really tough. Metal. Metal. All right, get ready. All right. All right. Wake the metal. Metal. Bring it to the metal. Metal. And fold the metal. Metal. And fold the metal. Metal. Great. <laughs> All right, I Sounds guess like we are ready. Looks like we're ready. All right, we're going to do the full song. We're going to need you guys to give it your all. We're going to record this and we'll sell it later. You guys don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk later. Profit.、Uh, so I'm going to、uh, depart the stage. I'll be singing from the sidelines, trust me. And、uh, we'll leave it up to you, Soken, Koji, and everyone here to sing with all you've got. 
All right. Good luck, guys. I'll take my mask. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please wait. Just a moment. Hey, Sheikh. Are you ready, audio booth? Are you ready, audio booth? Okay, now, Tony. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> This song called Get Out. Oh no 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 no. Get out. Yeah, this is probably you got about to the second turn, but no further than that. You got to get, got to give us more energy. We got、uh, savage fourth turn, so we got to beat that. Bring it up. Are you ready? Yeah. Song again. This song called. Okay. Get out.
So that was super great. That's a, that's a compliment, don't worry. <laughs> you weren't expecting much, and it was better than you. Yeah, well, it was up here. So, it was up here. so it was up here. So, it was up here. So, everybody who participated this time, I know you have the power to beat the fourth turn on Alexander. So, go for it. I know you can beat it. So, before we end, we do have to show. And share Soken's latest greatest achievements that he's very proud of. Yeah. Which is our Before the Fall Final Fantasy XIV soundtrack. Everybody's holding it up and showing it up right now. Ah, thank you very much! <laughs> So we've released this in Japan also, so it is on sale. なんですけど、日本ではすごいもう一番有名なあのチャートがあるんですけど。うん、そうえ、you Thank you very much. Yeah, so please um, come by the booth we're selling, or we please um, buy the CD, our disc, and, and take a listen. あの、今回はえっと、この中にはあの、昔のFFのアレンジの曲も結構入ってるんで、あの、昔からのFFのファンの方も楽しめるアルバムになってる。ます。so there are a few songs, a few tracks on the disc um, that are an arrangement track of prior Final Fantasy titles. So if you are familiar with the series, I'm sure you'll be able to see the wink and nod um, in the album as well. Um, and with this disc, um, you are also able to uh, download the MP3, MP3 tracks off of this disc, um, so you'll be able to listen to your music on your mobile devices as well. So it's a Blu-ray disc music, but you can download the MP3 tracks off of it so that you can take it with you. Okay. <laughs> and like, like you mentioned, we do have it on sale at our booth, and we, uh, you know, we actually have some signed ones. Uh, but speaking of signings, uh, one quick surprise. Uh, it wouldn't be an FF14 panel of packs without some kind of surprise. So we gave you guys the gobby masks and the lenticular cards. Everybody's already checking under their seats. So if you check under your seats, you It's a brand actually, new car! You may oh! have some VIP. Uh, we have some signing sessions with Soken here. Nice. We have a lot of... <laughs> of course, Joe got one. Of course, that makes sense. We have a lot of these to go around, so 
be careful checking their seats. Don't don't cause any problems. So tools interested. Uh, checking but, under other people's seats. Uh, no, they're already going to the signing <laughs> session. Guys, no, no, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. We have a signing uh, tomorrow. We have two different sessions, so check your cards. And if you're unable to attend, like if you only have a Sunday pass or you're not going to be here, just give it to somebody next to you. I'm sure they'll be uh, very happy to take it. But, guys, with that, let's give one more huge round of applause for Koji, Soken, and Aimee. We'll be sure to see you during Koji's next vacation. Yeah, so Christmas time. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to pull me out of that as well. Thanks. Don't make your promises. Just let me know your schedule. But thank you all very much for coming. We hope you have a great PAX. Thank you, guys. <laughs>